Hi everybody, Casey Zander here and in today's video I'm going to be covering one of my most frequently asked questions and that is when to dump women. When should I let go of my girlfriend? When should I get rid of that relationship? Why is that relationship toxic or why is that person not for me? Now here's what I can tell you, okay? The points that I'm going to make today, they need to sit and they need to internalize because the problem is that when you do have a relationship with somebody, you're going to be emotionally invested to some degree. So even what I tell you on this back of napkin will make sense. In order for it to truly resonate, it needs to sit and you need to actually th think and meditate over these concepts to yourself. Okay, I'll give you an example. There's been times where I have read a book and I thought it was okay. And then three years later, I'll come back to that book and I find one chapter and that one chapter made me an extra $150,000, you know, that business quarter. And I'm like, oh my God, why didn't I see that information when I first read it? This would have been so useful. And it's because like it, the context, the con contextually, that information wasn't what I needed at that time. So the things that I tell you today, you probably won't see all of them for yourself until you live it for an extended period of time and you actually meditate over these concepts. So with that said, Let's dive in. Quick announcement. You guys know I am I am capping the Masculinity Blueprint Accelerator at 2,000 members. Right now, we are nearing that 200 seat open availability left. So what I'd recommend, because I don't, I don't, as you guys know, like what I'm doing with B2C Kings, my business channel, you can also check out that below too. But what I'm doing is I'm slowly over 2022, I'm going to be going through a career shift to help empower people at a higher level. And what I mean by that is I don't know if I'm going to keep this program open any longer. So the thing that's gathered hundreds or thousands of testimonials over the years, like go down below, check that out. This will be the only time for you to hop into it. And as big as this channel is, I don't know how long seats will last. So there's real urgency to this because I may actually be like for sure closing it down. Nevertheless, let's look into when to actually dump your girlfriend, when to get rid of somebody that doesn't serve you in your life. The first thing that you should look at is if they can't give you a straight answer. What's a straight answer? A straight answer is this. Hey, you seem off. What's wrong? You can tell they're off and they don't have the maturity level to communicate back to you and they say nothing. They want you to hunt and dig and probe with deeper level questions to show that you're invested. If you see somebody that consistently does that to you, meaning AKA wastes your time and being disrespectful, like if you could solve the problem in 20 to 30 seconds, and in actuality, they make it, they make that, that argument or that tension stretch for one, two, three, four, five, six hours. That is time when you need to cut that person out of your life. I'm going to explain why. As a high value person, okay, you only have a limited amount of time on this earth. Like, I, I don't think people understand that. Like, one day you won't be here. You only have a limited number of heartbeats all day. Okay, we can try to live our best lives, but one day we're gonna be buried under. So you need to let that sink in. Here's why I genuinely believe that if somebody can't give you straight answers, they cannot communicate at the maturity level needed to maintain a relationship because there's love and there's lust. Okay. If you're like, you, you have to truly understand that like, if you're going to date somebody, the dynamics of the communication, it's not always going to be flirtatious. It's not always going to be, you know, direct, chemistry within the speech. It's not always going to be light and playful. There's sometimes you're going to have to have real discussion. And that person needs to understand that real discussion can happen and should happen without losing attraction and without losing interest. Because in order for the relationship to stay sane, you have to do that. So if the person can't give you a straight answer, you need to get rid and I'll explain why. Guys, here, here's my sub points to this guys will communicate in unnatural forms to attract the girl, which means that girls who want to retain their man need to communicate in a way that will fit that guy. Here's what I mean. We both know the communication styles are different between both. Okay, so let this sink in for a second. Point A, guys will communicate in unnatural forms to attract the girl. 
when guys flirt, when guys engage in more emotional language to resonate with that person better, they're doing it to build quick chemistry. They're doing it to show spark. They're doing it to create interest. Okay. These things work. This is why the topics of game, you know, like if you've read any sort of game books or if you've read, even if you've just watched any sort of like people who discuss this, myself included, these things work. Okay. So what is a guy's form of game? Well, it would be to attract the girl that he's interested in. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the thing is there's nothing wrong with that. That if you do it in a healthy way, that other person on the reciprocal end is benefiting from the value exchange and you're benefiting from the value exchange. You get the enjoyment of knowing you can attract that person. They get enjoyment off knowing that, Hey, someone's interested. And if I find chemistry here, I can dabble into that perfectly. Okay. In, in retrospect to that though, or in reverse, the girl game needs to be, Hey, how can I retain this man? Or how can I retain this guy that's showing lots of interest? If she wants, if, if the, if, if that person wants to keep the relationship, they will do what is necessary. So what does that mean? That means if you are having to communicate in a way that's unnatural, occasionally they will have to sense that your communication style is different. Therefore, in order to resolve conflict, in order to resolve arguments, in order to actually keep things stable, there needs to be that same courtesy of communicating in the way that will fit that other person. However, most don't do this because they don't have to. So here's what I'm going to tell you. If you ask questions ever, like you say, Hey, what's wrong? Or if you ask something like, how's your day? And that person just sits there and they don't say anything, they go mute or they act extremely turned off that you're even wondering, or you walk into the room and it's just dead silence just complete silence. There's absolutely no reason to continue that relationship. There just isn't. You can't fix something that's broken. Okay. And you, you also can't convince people to change to suit you better. People are how they are. Okay. So I'm going to give you another example. Commu if you're communicating with somebody, Okay. And they're literally just sitting there on their phone, not paying attention, or they're doing things like fidgeting or looking at their fingernails. They are doing this on purpose to show that they don't respect what it is that you're saying. They don't even have the care to do so. If you see these things, that's when it is time to actually dissolve the relationship. And I don't care if it's somebody you're dating. I don't care if it's somebody you're working with or working for. If they genuinely don't care about you, there is no point in continuing the facilitation of that relationship. Your time is much better spent developing new relationships with healthier people. And not to mention your job then is to notice the difference between short term attraction and actually, is this a long term compatible companion that you would want to be with far too often guys, what they'll do is they'll just look at the short term attraction like, Hey, you know, the bedtime is great. The intimacy is great. The spark is there. Therefore, because all that is in check, I'm going to try to make it work with this person long term. And in actuality, when you look at the long term, the, the, the person that they're with probably doesn't have their life together the way they'd like. They're not living on the same page. They don't have the same beliefs but they're still trying to make it work because the intimacy in the beginning was still great. And that's like, it's a, it's a shift you have to make. Like there's certain people you could be with long-term. There's certain people you are only meant to be with for a short term. And you know what? That's okay. It takes time to get to know people. So I genuinely hope that this video serve you one more time to truly emphasize the power of the masculinity blueprint. The only way I can get this message across is if you go down below and you actually check out the quick link that I have to see these testimonials. People's lives have been changed. They've been motivated in ways they have never been. They've been getting real life, tangible results in their dating life that they've never had before. And why not actually have a blueprint? Why not actually have a step-by-step -step process? The way I've gotten to where I am at today in life is through mentorship. It's through listening to people who are a couple steps above me. And it's by actually getting to a point in life where I'm happy, healthy, and secure. And that's what I want to do for you. So 
That's for a second. Check out the business channel, B2C Kings, down below. There's a link. Last but not least, if you're wanting even a deeper dive, more extensive coaching with me. Okay, a few seats have opened up for the full stack one percenter program this month. That means if you go down below and you book a call with my brother Cole, you may have the opportunity to work one to one with me if he actually sees you as a fit. You'll hop on a call. He'll interview you, he'll see what you're going through. If it looks like you are, if it will extend that invitation for you to do so. So hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.